Hello students, today we're going to be continuing our test flight activities by doing a project called Straw Jets. According to the material list, we're going to need some transparent tape. If you don't have transparent tape, masking tape will also work. You'll also need your safety glasses, you'll need some scissors, you'll need some plastic straws. Doesn't matter if it has paper on it or if it's just the plastic straw all by itself. You'll need your printout of your landing strip eventually. You'll need the fuselage base, which is the piece of paper that has four large rectangles on it. You'll need your pre-cut airfoil cardstock. That's the piece that has 24 small rectangles on it. And you'll need some cardstock. We'll also need some glue. It could be either a glue stick or it could be a regular white glue bottle. If we review the design statement, we're going to have to build a straw jet. So we're going to have to make a fuselage made out of paper. And then eventually we're going to add airfoils to each side of the fuselage. Your teacher is going to tell you what your allowable time is and has to be finished within that time. And you can only use the materials that are provided by your teacher. Within the activity, it says on step number seven, you need to build the fuselage for your prototype. And it says to get your materials from your teacher and roll the paper around a straw, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of information. So my video is going to show you some hints on trying to make that go a little bit smoother. To build the fuselage, we'll need the fuselage paper, you'll need your glue, you'll need a straw, your scissors, and some tape. And what I'm going to do to start out with is I'm going to cut that sheet of paper into four medium-sized rectangles. Now that I've got these cut, I should have four rectangles and I can set three of them off to the side because I may need to use them to make some more fuselages later on. But I've got one rectangle like this. My goal is to wrap this paper around the straw. And if you just start rolling like this, you'll find out it's a little bit difficult to get started. So here's a trick. You can take the edge of your desk and if you take the paper and you pull down, what you'll do is you'll actually make the paper start to curl. So you can do that on both ends of your paper to start getting it curled like that. Or the other way you can do it is if you have a ruler, you can put the ruler on top of the paper and then pull up and then that will help start to curl your paper. Once you get it started to curl, you're going to take it and start rolling it around the straw. Now, I like to practice a couple times to see if you can roll it up. And when it's rolled up, you want it so that the straw will actually move. You don't want it so tight that it pinches on the straw. If you're using a straw with paper, I suggest that you leave the paper on, and I'll explain that in just a little bit. So I'm going to take this straw with the paper and I'm going to practice rolling it a couple times. If it's too loose, your straw jet's not going to work real well. So by practicing rolling it a couple times, you'll get really good at rolling up your paper. All right, I practiced enough times I can get a really nice roll. And here's the way I like to put the fuselage together. I'm going to roll the straw around so it makes at least one full circle around the straw. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside. So if I'm using tack or glue stick, I can just put one stripe of glue there. And that helps hold the middle part together while I'm rolling it. And then when I get to the outside edge, I'm going to put another stripe of glue around the outside. And you want the glue to go all the way to the edge of the paper. And then I just keep rolling it. And as soon as it's all the way rolled up, 
Then I just push the ends down. If you're using regular white glue, a little bit of glue might squirt out and that's totally fine. You can clean that up with a paper towel or at a sink. And now you have the fuselage all rolled around your straw. You can pull the straw out and here's my trick about using a straw with paper. The extra layer of paper became just a little bit of spacer. So now when I put the straw into the fuselage body, it slides really nice and easy. I do need to seal the end. So what I do to seal the end is I just pinch the end of the rolled up paper and I bend over a very small part on the end so that it seals that end of the paper. The final step for making the fuselage is to take that bent part of the paper and seal it up with some tape. Transparent tape will work, masking tape will also work. Masking tape's a little bit heavier, so I'm gonna use the transparent tape. You need about a one inch to one and a half inch long piece of tape. And then you're gonna put the tape over the top of the fold to hold the fold down. And then you're just gonna wrap the tape around in a corner like that. Finish your project by writing your name on the paper fuselage. As soon as you're done with that, go back and read the instructions or follow your teacher's directions and you're gonna be testing your fuselage to see how well it flies. When you're testing it, you slide your fuselage onto the straw, but don't push it in all the way or it might get caught where you pinched the end. Pull it out about an inch. It should slide nice and easy. And then you can go test your fuselage.